relationship. Gabriel, stop! <laughs> Very sorry, it's a blumper. So when you are getting into a relationship, okay, and everything is just going, you know, beautiful, going, um, you know, smooth, okay, and you're not seeing some, how do I say, you're not seeing some stumbling block or you're not seeing any potholes along the way, everything is just going, you know, smoothly, okay. But when you are approaching the period of marriage, like what I'm talking about is when you're already preparing your marriage ceremony and in fact, you two already made up your mind, the man himself already made up your mind that you are going to be the woman of his life okay there are a lot of characters that is going to be pulling up maybe during the time of the preparation of the wedding i know there's some it happened to, to me in fact it happened to me and one of the days i'm going to share the video of what happened in my traditional marriage was a big disaster in fact when they say devil always goes about um a bit you know goes about beautiful things anything that is in a good moment that's why you see devil appears trying to scatter everything okay but i thank god i'm a faithful man a, a loving woman that loves god okay and god is somebody that god really loves if not everything would have just been um you know at the end of the day, all the effort that just been in vain, everybody will just and end up, just pack up and end up, okay? But we are still pushing because I know that's why I'm here. I want to ask the reasons why people get married. Everybody have different reasons because why I'm saying why why, why I'm about to say this because it's very important. It starts up with something um that you have little idea about. Before you start up something, you should know what it's all about. Marriage is all about. I know that a lot they've gone to searching through books, reading books, or learning from these uh, new motivational speakers that we have now that talks about things of marriage. Everybody have their different reasons, different thing that is still keeping them. In their marriages or different things that they looked out for before they got married you already know what you want but why i'm here just to let you know that you don't have to be scared when you see stress or when you see some blockages along the way okay why you are in that marriage like i said i said marriage is all about disrespect you have to see it like this for everything that you know is just against 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 beautiful things you are going to see there in marriage and it's not only in marriage in everything and sometimes everything will just be going well before you know what's happening it's just like there is a slow, um, slow, like slow mood. Everything just be turning backwards. Like you'll be surprised what is really going on when you enter into the marriage. Everything was going well. Like there were money available. Like what? what like an argument, and maybe the man lost his job, the or wife lost a job, or maybe they lost a baby, or maybe something happened, and the wife they are not able to understand themselves more to take up that situation and say no, we have to stand with each other. Okay behind anything that is going wrong that is what marriage is marriage is the ability to sacrifice marriage are for mature people why because you are going to see the heat it will come like a a bank like what i mean by bank and two you have to be a prayerful person okay it all depends on what you believe in because i believe in god the God that created the whole world, the invisible God you can't see, it's not the one made by hands, that's what I serve. And you know, you should have faith and believe that everything, even if at all nothing is just working or maybe there is trouble, believe because it makes it easy for us, okay? Even behind all those troubles. And there's a part of the scripture that I talked about, it said, behind all this temptation, it's not going to give you the one that is bigger than you that you're not able to solve. And even if at all it's something that you can't solve, it will make a way out, okay? That is the time you have to pray, it's the time you have to pray because marriage is all about this respect and you know i talked about something that when i was ending the last video i uploaded i talked about you know um a man the husband himself um maybe you you are giving him a, enough sex and you feel sex is because some people like i talked about multiplication last speaker they will, they will say give him this tie give him this tie you have you have yeah in fact you have given all the style that you know you're exhausted very so you're going to hear that because this is afternoon and they have not started school okay school have not resumed so very sorry for the interruption so very sorry uh, for those that have kids understand so um i don't know i can't remember again where i was where i was where i was you know that i had to pause the video <laughs> I pause the video. I said, let me just remember because I was just trying to scream behind my kids. I was just stopping and making hell of noise. I just forgot what I was about to say. I had to go back to check the video I did before I was able to know where I stopped. To be a mother, God, you just feel like giving up. This is just one of those things in marriage. So if you don't know all these things, I'm not scaring you, okay? If you're not married, uh, something that you want to enter, this is what you're going to see. But I'm not scaring you. It's a good thing. Eh? It's just God that created it. And we have to do this, okay? <laughs> but be with the right person, I will not hate you. So what I was talking about, I said, 
you know, some motivational speaker they talk about sex. Sex is just what you have to give the man. Give the man if they are already exhausted with their different styles, they give to the man. And you know, man, can, men they, are, they cannot be satisfied. They, you can't satisfy them. They are inseparable. They are especially when it has to do with ecstasy. Men intimate ecstasy like i'm talking about when you give them the sex and you feel sex is just the only weapon you have to use to hold down the man the man will just love you the way you should love you everything will just it will just be making everything easy for you the love will just be everywhere it will be committed to you will you know, affect everything that you think about that you know you see some men due to their wives or due to their girlfriend you you, uh, you experience it with him like the sex is not just the only thing by the time you do that at the end of the day even there are some that have lost their husband they, they will come or they tell you their story eh <laughs> When they tell you their story, they have done they have done different styles. In fact, there are some that are even gonna have because they are so desperate. They are not godly women. They decide to to do um, different um, charms, love charms. This one now they are they are talking about is kayamata. They are done kayamata, and you know you can't do kayamata to somebody that you know that you can't get something from. There are some husbands that, are, in fact, I'm talking about the stately, um Ah, that they are rich. They are, they are very stupendously that like they are so so rich. Okay, and that woman, they don't want maybe they don't because the reason maybe the reason why they marry that man because of the money. And it all depends, okay. So why are some it's not because of the money, but they were thinking, ah, after all the time they spent with the man, the investment they made with the man, when the man was was nothing, like the, when the man got married to them, they become somebody. How would he uh, why would she just like leave everything behind and abandon for another woman to come up? And they're even going ahead to think of do it kayamata the thing that is the only solution my dear if you have done everything kayamata or whatever um love charms that you want to use it's not going to work because even if i thought it's going to work you yourself you're going to get you're going to get um repercussion repercussion there's some that doesn't even end well it might be between life and death and some of these people that prefer this kayamata love charms to you they don't tell you what they do they don't tell you where they committed those 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 nonsense things into before they give it to you so I might even destroy your, um, your, your, you know, destroy your image, destroy everything in Jesus that you are going to see a lot. And if the man, you feel that sex is just the only thing, weapon, sex is not just what you have to some, they think that it's just like cooking beautiful meals. They've even gone to buy and cook books to cook different dishes for the man. And you think that's the only thing that will keep the man, my dear, it's bound to happen. When, for instance, that the man, um, like you're having every time argument and, and maybe disagreement, argument, disagreement every time in the marriage, just leave everything. Like what I mean by leave, just throw everything there. Don't argue with the man. You know we women, we talk too much. We talk too much. I'm saying this for those people that feel they're already giving up in marriage. They are tired. And maybe some, they, they take all their time. Every day they're watching social, uh, social media seeing different couples okay um, sh um you know displaying this love affection i think that is just that is just what is going on there everything is just going smooth my dear it's not going smooth if the, if most times it's the woman that keeps the marriage maybe she, she doesn't want to lose all the effort and the time she can the other woman will just come in if it's something that you can manage my dear go what i mean by manage let me explain it better something that don't have to do with life and death your children are protected it's just the attitude of the of the man and men they are who they are Men, they are who they are. Like the things you are seeing now in marriage for those watching me, they are who they are. You can't, there's some that you can't change. There's some that you use prayer, you pray, pray, you can't change. You have to leave everything behind. Especially what really angers them most or what really upsets most of these men is just that they don't like too much talking with men. Don't talk too much. When I got married, I was thinking that when the man, the, uh, my husband uh, gets me upset or maybe any of the days that he, he really gets me angry, I will talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. In fact, he said it would be so full. The next thing he just said me, I'm giving up. I'm tired. And me myself, I said, I'm giving up. I'm tired. But how we are still here to get, that's why I said, before you get married, let it be a man that God has said is, is, is your husband. It's very important. Let it be somebody that God has said, this is your husband. That is just it. Because why I'm saying this is just because even if I thought anything happens, it will still, everything will just be as if nothing happened. Nothing that would destroy or scatter the marriage, okay? So doing sex, or maybe too much sex, giving him a different styles, cooking for him, it's not all about that. It's not what keeps marriage. What keeps marriage is just sacrifice. Two of you sacrifice not just only the man himself, not just only the woman herself. Two people. If you find out that you marry that kind of man that don't even feel remorse whenever he does anything wrong to you, what I mean by remorse is just that ah, sometimes, maybe just because they are tired for the day, they, they are so stressed up. You that is the woman, you are with him there, you already know the kind of person that he is. You have to leave him for at that moment. Maybe look for the one that is working for you. Before you have to pack it up and say you are tired. Because now, what I'm saying is because of a whole lot of divorce that are everywhere. 
mine is not i'm not saying mine is just best the best like the best really if i tell you what i anticipated what i really dreamed of in marriage ah, i'll just be like on star like star coming down towards me giving me a star every day beautiful you know intentions that i have and the way things are you know when you I have not brought you into this world you will not have this kind of emotional feeling the kind of feeling i had now the kind of compassion i have now i can't understand like i'm even praying for help since i brought my children into this world i have compassion for things i don't know i will just do something i'll just fall for it and i say god at the end of the day i'll just be disappointed in those things sometimes i even make friends they do something wrong to me i have just see me flooring like the floors every i don't know really i now built i built this emotional feeling inside of me since i brought my children into this world because of that i don't want anything that will have to affect me in any way what i mean by that anything a man does i just prefer to just be quiet i was thinking that talking talking is to really help you know it's going to help it's not going to help and don't feel disappointed don't feel disappointed i'm saying this out of experience don't feel disappointed that everything has come crumbling where are you like everywhere is just so strange to you what is going on this is not what you intended Look, marriage is sacrifice. Marriage is commitment. Marriage is when you see all these flaws, you are still there. These people you are seeing about now, they are still married even after 50 years or after uh, 10 years of their marriage, after 20 years of their marriage. If they tell you their details, I'm talking about true one that will come and not those one that will come and blow lie everywhere and tell you lies. It, is, it, is, it always makes a cup of tea for me every morning and brings at the side of my bed. The one your husband did not do, you be using it against him. And you know, all men are not the same. All women are not the same. Maybe you have that kind of man that will be preparing um, uh, snacks every morning or maybe preparing uh, tea for you, uh, bring um, hot tea for you in the morning or fry eggs for you, make eggs, don't edit, does any, anything and brings it by your, the side of your bed while you're still sleeping and just give you a very beautiful, blow, very beautiful kiss on your face, um, clean your leg. What I mean by clean, uh, massage, does this, does those loving things that you really want and your own doesn't do. Maybe they have the kind of man that you are looking at. For, for your husband, they, they, they are so romantic towards their wives, and your own, it doesn't, my dear. You have to create it, create that atmosphere to happen. If you are trying your best and nothing is still working, there must be something. You are the one that is with him, except if it's not the one that God has brought up for you to get married to. You understand? So I'm not saying this to scare you. I'm not saying this for you to, to just throw everything away like that. What I mean by everything away like that you have to be strong marriage is just a beautiful thing it all depends on how you make it to be and thirdly just to round up this video because like i don't want it to be too long is make yourself happy you the woman make yourself happy don't wait for the man to make you happy that's some of african men talking about african men you know what i'm talking about african men no matter what you do for them never they can't even go for any like any housework some of them they will even do they're tired you can't force them why there are some of them they'll tell you that it's the woman's work if you can't if you have that kind of man don't feel so disappointed there must be something in that man that you love there must be something there must be something okay and what i was saying before i just remember this african st um, men stuff i talked about you being happy just be happy if you don't know how to create happiness for yourself, make a friend that has this. Uh, it's only there are some friends, or you mean they, you 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 always get a, and how do I say it? When you get close to this kind of friends, like I'm talking about, there's some girlfriends you get close to, you be uh, you so attached to the wife because of they always come with this positive um, vibes. I'm talking about those people. They're so and en daring. They're so enchanting. Like you will just love them if you can make friends with those kind of girls fine and good just to continue with your life if you can make if you want to make if you don't want that kind of friend because you no know, we women we have trouble on our own not to talk about you know <laughs> bringing it them in into our home make friends with your children just look for something that will have to make if you want to go out go out you can't stop me from going out except it's those demonic ones and i have no advice to stay with that kind of man any man that hits you any man that don't even like he does anything wrong and in fact there are some that they're already tired of the marriage the way they, they get tired of the marriage is you see them showing you different different attitudes you just when they're tired they think of the next option the option maybe it means ah, god if this man is not going to change like if it's just so like it's not something you can't maintain it's not something you can manage what i mean it's not something there's nothing you have not done yet the man is still who he is if it's something that is emotionally breaking you down for the sake of your kids if you already brought kids into this world maybe they, try and look for something like just look for and a way of exit out of there 
out of there because it's bondage. Is that how you're going to continue for many years you're going to be with that man? If it's those ones that don't have remorse, is what I'm talking about. That some they have remorse, they've done something wrong, maybe because they are stressed or that's why they showed you that um, attitude or whatever. And they still come back and say sorry. Even there are some that don't know how to, because most men they have ego, they don't know how to say sorry. If you're waiting for them to say sorry, come and bring you one beautiful flower. So oh, sorry, they are apologizing for this and that. There are some that don't know how to do The other way is indirect. They might just come and just buy something. They will just take it and just somehow drop it somewhere. They will not even give it to you. <laughs> In your hand, no, I just drop it on top of your table, on top of the bed when you are sleeping. You come down, see it, and say, well, Don't be there and say, Imagine, just throw it away and say, No, 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 go pick it and say, This man, this man, and continue your life, okay? So, let me just run it up here because if you allow me, I have a whole lot to say here. Just stay behind, stay back, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. So anytime I upload, because I said I have series. A series saw this marriage because once I'm uploading this videos because of the rate of divorce now is just too much. Hey, don't listen to those ones on social media telling you that they are they're managing their marriage. This that if it's something you can't manage, my dear, you know what I talked about the qualities of a manageable marriage. Mm. But if those ones that those ones that hit you, you must say you're breaking down, even when and you are feeling lost, please think of the way of exit. But something you can manage, there's some that you say they want to stay behind for their children. They don't want their children to, to, to be raised up in a broken home, to be raised up by monsters around. You know what it should end up to be. You can stay behind. But if something you can manage, God, just this, there will most definitely be a way out. But if something you have looked around, because we know who we may get so exhausted, and we say, no, enough is enough. Something you can manage. In fact, but I'm talking about those people that want to stay behind. Know that marriage is sacrifice. Know that marriage is something that two of you have to build together. Okay, it's not when you see those negative things happening, don't feel scared that uh, you're tired, you can't continue. No, if it's something you can manage, go ahead and do that. Okay, and don't think that you have to do so much sex or you have to, um, uh, how do I say, those no, don't sacrifice what is bigger than you. I'm talking about sacrifice, not for, for you to go and kill yourself. If you have done that, please just pause and stop and just be looking at God things will turn around okay so thank you very much for staying behind to this extent or this far we have more to upload okay just stay back like i said turn on your notification bell so that whenever we upload you'll be notified so i love you so much watch to this extent so i can let and stay back when i upload this video so that i can learn something because of the rate of divorce mm -hmm.